We had a question. Um, so it, 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 it's actually part of his, his larger theory of the state. Um, and, um, you know, his larger theory of the state is really very much trying to emphasize the power of the state uh, and, ha and, how the, and, the, uh, and how the state has a right to this power. So he's, he's not, I don't think anybody would ever accuse him of being an anarchist, right? So, so the, 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 he's not adding the tag to, 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 to avoid that accusation, but it's really part of his whole theory. Yeah? Yes? Um, was Hobbes arguing that language was um, the key motivator for allowing people to transfer skills um, between one another? Um, I don't think he's arguing that it's the motivator, but it's, the, um, it's what enables people to be able to do that. That you can't, you can't, well, first of all, you can't even develop the skills without having language. And then once you've developed a skill, you can't teach it to somebody without having language. Right? So it's an, an enabler, it's not a motivator. Since I came into it weird because animals can teach each other how to do skills between each other, uh -huh. they don't necessarily communicate with each other. Right, okay, that's a, that's a good objection to what Hobbes is saying. But we'll, we can talk about that, we'll, we'll be talking about this issue of animals again. Right. But, um, uh, yeah, I think. I mean, I think that the 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 broader objection you're making is that there's certain things that he's saying that is enabled through human language that seem to be possible without human language, right? And so, but we're going to sort of we're going to be testing some of that later on as well. Okay, good. But great question. Um, so I had a question. What are the what are the uses of language we had? Can we review? Just transfer. Um, Link thoughts to words, right? So a train of thoughts into a train of words, right? What was the next one? Recall thoughts. Recall thoughts. And then? Communicate. Well, but, but here we've, we've, we've deepened the, the, this understanding of communication. So what's, what, what does communication consist of now for Hobbes? Counseling. I'm sorry? Counseling and well, OK, so yeah, he had, he had a list of things, right? So counseling and teaching, helping. And um, uh, what was the third one? It was pleasure, pleasure right? And yeah, but but we had but we had this idea that the word serves as this mark of remembrance, um, and it also serves a mark of commonality um, between two people that that allows them each having their own thoughts to be aligned with each other's thoughts, right? And so that's the key. I think that that mark of remembrance um, is is really important for how he's thinking this through, right? Um, and then the abuses of language again. The, the basic abuse of language primarily is, yes? Deception, or some, some, some lack of correspondence between thought and word, right? Breaking that link um, in some, either, either as an error or as a deception, right? So that's you know, the, the key one, and then obviously he's, he, he, or, or, and additionally he's, he's talking about how, how words can, can hurt people, right? Okay, so I'm gonna, other questions before we continue? All right. Um, good. So.